Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, for those that showed up to the live stream on Sunday, thank you all for stopping by. For those that didn't show up to the live stream, uh, don't worry, didn't miss too much. We just did a little bit of work on the station here, as you can see. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. And I did do some additions here. I got some uh, platform. I got this cool little thing here. And uh, doing this, I want to sort of elaborate on this, but we're going to do that over that section there eventually i have no idea what i'm going to do there but it's going to be sort of like the main hub what is going on oh camera's backwards ha 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 so far out i can't even see which way i'm facing but yes i started working on this area here it's going to be sort of like a hub to go to the different sections of the station i'm thinking about having airlocks in each corridor there maybe multiple levels i'm not too sure where i'm going to go but as you can see i've had issues with these glass this glass because can't always tell which side is the tinted side when you place them down. So I have to tear them apart and put them back in one by one by one. But anyways, enough station building. Let's go have some fun today. Uh, I've been getting some crazy ideas of things I can do in this game just because of what's available. And today I thought I'd have a little bit of fun. I, I wanted to see if it's possible to build some sort of machine that could basically take any type of asteroid, like even that one there, and just grind it down into nothing and just give us some basic resources at the end. Uh, I have been busy getting a bunch of stuff ready for today, and I'm hoping that this build is going to go fairly good. Uh, it's going to be a big project too, so we're probably going to have to go down here and start building it. But basically what it's going to be, it's going to be a planet eater. It's going to be a huge, giant machine that is going to be able to, like I said, mine down an asteroid down to nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a conductor here, and it doesn't work that way. Hmm. That's a shame. Then I guess I'm going to have to do it a different way. Yeah, bring out the landing gear. So uh, anyways, let me get this set up. Despite my best efforts, I failed. So I'm going to have to do it the other way, uh, which is go back to landing gear. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing here just so you know how I'm doing it. And basically do it what I was doing before, but this time I'm going to have the, the foot of the landing gear actually touching. If I can get the right rotation. And it won't because the block isn't big enough. Well, we're going to go build it down here then, I guess. It might make more sense, would it not? No, let's, let's put some blocks there. Uh, hang on. Okay, that's not working. We're going to do this differently. I'm going to use this. Because for some reason, it won't let me actually place the foot of the landing gear on there. And I understand why, because normally when you do that, you have it so the foot of the landing gear is facing down. So when you build it, it drops down and gravity brings it to the ground. Then it connects. I can't just place it on there because it thinks I'm trying to snap it to it. So that is fine. So I'm going to start by placing a block right about here. I want to make sure I have enough room for this thing too, because I don't expect it to be small. And unfortunately, this is kind of painful. Actually, that was pretty good. Let's see if we get back the other way. Oh, too far. I think I should do it right there. And I'll just build it out a little bit so I have a little bit of room. And then I'm going to put the con connector on last. Now, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put everything. I think it might be best to put the container on first. Uh, color. I was thinking going with something a little, a little on the evil side here. I'll start with black and I'll probably deck it out with some red as we go or afterwards. So that is going to go there. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stringing two refineries together. And these refi well, both refineries are going to have four speed upgrades on there to be able to process the material as fast as I can. Uh, the refinery, I do believe, is four high. And I'm going to be using conveyors in the middle so it because of symmetry, because they're two, two by two with the modules are two by three, and I want to try to keep this on odd, odd numbers. So one, two, three, four. And we'll go on the side here. Actually, I should probably fill those in. Thank God for the wonder tool here. And as well, they're so fast. And I need interior plates for that, but I'll put that in in a second. So now I got to bring the refinery back up because I had taken it off for a block, go figure. So now, um, I want to make sure I have the conveyors 
lined up, I was going to make sure I can access the speed modules, or the upgrade modules, which are on the back here. Uh, another one I want to pay attention to is the ports on the back here. Uh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, because I also got to get a reactor in here. Now, if I place this here, you can see that it's got the conveyors on the side. So we're probably going to be doing like that. And then this one, I got to flip around. Actually, no, I don't, because uh, I was originally going to have two containers on here, but I don't think that's going to be much of the case. So we do like that. Oh, I could flip it around to line up the conveyors if you get my drift, but let me fill this in and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there we go. We got a container and two refineries on here. So now for the fun part, uh, the upgrade modules. Now I'm going to be putting four of them on each of them. I already figured out how much it's going to cost in power. It's going to be 2.6 megawatts each. I want to make sure this is actually facing the right way. Good it is. And I know this because I put two of them up on that one there, and that's using about 1.7 megawatts right now. Uh, the large uranium generator, or large uranium reactor, uh, outputs 15. So we should be good to go on that. Uh, Captain is helping me out. Captain Koran, he's joined the server for the first time today, and he's out there helping us, helping us out, get, doing, going on a uranium run, getting his, getting his wings, and learn how to play the game all right so it's more steel plates so that's going to be that this is actually starting to look devious it's going to be big it's going to be powerful but yeah so there's going to be what should we call it four efficient uh, speed upgrades yes so these things are going to be churning through the stone as fast as they possibly can it's going to be a container at the end i'm hoping that's going to be big enough i was originally thinking about putting two and that's why I was worried about the conveyors lining up, but this actually does have a fair amount of capacity, 2 million liters, so that should be more than enough. Hopefully this thing will chew through it pretty quick. And then having this conveyor block here is going to have room for the ion thrusters. And yes, I'm going to be using not the large ion thrusters, but the, the large block ion thrusters for this, and that's why I'm going to need a reactor, so I also need to figure out where I'm going to place that. But let me get this filled in, and then I'll bring you back for the next part. Okay, now to get into the fun part, and I'm sort of thinking about this now. It's actually a good thing I put the conveyors where I did, because that's actually where I'm going to mount the drills. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead with the conveyor junctions here. I'm going to put one there. Uh, yeah, that should be enough, because there's going to be a rotor there. So we'll actually do that. We'll put the advanced rotor, because it'll actually uh, that facing the right way. Yes, it is it's going to actually transfer resources and that's going to be from going to something wrong here oh yeah because I put a conveyor connector connect. I'm sorry I forgot what I was doing there for a moment it's like I've never played a video game before there we go yes I put a junction on there I want to make sure I have enough room so I don't get crushed by this thing while it's spinning and wildly chewing up rock like there's no tomorrow so that's going to be that, and then on each one of these, there's going to be four junctions. Oh. Actually, no, I'm going the wrong way here. What am I doing? Like I said, I totally forgot what I was doing. You know me, this isn't, en isn't enough. Okay, we're going to take that off. And then what I was going to do is I'm going to take the rotors off. Because they weren't going to go there. They were going to go up, up and down. I'm going to go one there, oh, on that spot, and then down here, like that, like that, and then two on top, and then I put the rotors on, uh, yes, one there, one there, one there, and one, one right there, that's got to go. Uh, like so, and then on that, then we put the, the five blocks, and then like that. Now, hopefully, they clear enough, big enough path. Uh, 
if I'm correct, it's actually should, should be able to bore a hole through a planet. Uh, ion thrusters, so it won't be happening on any planet with an atmosphere, but I should be able to drill right through an asteroid, no problem, and have nothing but iron, nickel, nickel silicone, and a whole ton of gravel to pay for, uh, to show for it. You're getting the idea on here, so let me get these finished up, and then I'll bring you back for the cockpit uh, generator, and uh, I'll start getting some drills on this bad boy. Okay, there we go. There's there's the drill. So what's going to happen is I'm going to actually have a drill on each one of these. Let's go ahead and get these out. Uh, where did I put them? Where did I leave them? Oh, there they are. See, right where I left them. Now these are going to be big guys. I have absolutely no idea how much these will remove. But I'm pretty sure if this is spinning, that I should be able to dig a huge tunnel an asteroid just dig my way through and reap the, the benefits of the rewards now one thing I will have to keep in mind is to make sure that I have these counter rotating uh, probably not that big of an issue since there's gonna be four of them because they are on rotors so these are gonna be spinning uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this one spinning this way this one spinning this way so they're both going inwards and have the other two on the top going in so that is that I, I am sideways uh, I haven't decided what side, side's going to be the top yet. I might actually have the uh, speed upgrades on the top, like so. And now we got to get the big old refiner generator in here if we can. And that's actually going to touch, isn't it? Oh, that ain't good. No, can't do it like that. So I'm going to see if I can sneak this up top. Right, so again, the last thing, we think, last thing we want is this thing to blow up while I'm drilling. That's not going to fit, so I'm going to put another air connector there. Actually, no, not there. I'm going to have to put it back in one because I think this actually has a one block gap it can go into. At least I hope so. Put that there. We'll back up. And... No, that won't work. So I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put this in. I can't have it here because the drills are going to hit. I could theoretically put it in the back somewhere. You know, I could put it in between the. I could actually put it right at the very end too, but it's kind of hard to do that now since I'm already tethered to the asteroid. Let me figure this out. Okay, I'm just finishing up now. I. Uh, what it is, I put one extra block here. When I put this up, I realized I didn't have to put the conveyor connectors here. Okay, I just put this right under there, or conveyor junctions, I should say. And yes, my suit power is low. So next is to put the, the cockpit and the generator, or the reactor, I should say. Now, I said I wanted to have the upgrades on the top. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and place uh, this bad boy right here. So, and I almost want to put the cockpit right in front, but I don't think that'd be a smart idea. I might actually get clipped. So I'm going to sit right on top of it. A perfect place for it. So where is that cockpit? Actually, I should just put a bucket seat up there just for the, the for kicks. Of, just for kicks. Uh, don't need refineries anymore. Let's get out of here. And let's see which way am I going here. There I am. And of course, I'm going to have to get some spotlights in here. Uh, I think this is facing the wrong way. But you get the gym. So let me fill it, finish up the, rea uh, the reactor, get that in, and then we'll continue on to the next step. All right, well, I'm still waiting for the reactor components to finish processing. I need 2,000 for that thing. Uh, you don't see it now because it's not complete, but I decided to paint that red. It's going to be the heart of the beast. But I am have in my hand ion thrusters large ion thrusters. Now I'm assuming that it's going to be okay here. Uh, what I have to do is I have to make sure I got them positioned forwards, backwards, up, down, left, right, at the same time making sure that uh, they don't get uh, affected by the drills or they don't affect the drills. So I'm thinking I should be able to do something like that for the the left and right. I can do the same thing on this side. Energy low. 
I just want to make sure that, like I said, that it actually makes it through any hole that I may dig with it. So that'll work there, and I can have the facing back like that. I could probably do that on all sides. This might be a little high up on this end here. But that's fine, because I was going to go this way in the back. I'm going to get four going in front and back. I know this thing is going to be extremely heavy, especially when it's filled. And then we get our horizontal or uh, vertical go there and there and yes I actually did think this out that's where the center line of conveyors came in and so on and so forth so I'm gonna get some more of these on here and I'll bring you back when she's pretty much done and I think I should be able to get through I might have to reposition a little bit but I'll bring you back okay I'm almost done here uh, just a couple more things we got to add. One is uh, a couple of gyros, and two is going to be a big old spotlight on the front. And let's start with a spotlight and put it right here. I can get to the reactor from the bottom, so I can put fuel in that way. Now I'm hoping that the drills don't hit that. They shouldn't, but you never know. I'm wondering maybe I should put that somewhere else. Because, well, actually, you know what? I can put the fuel just about anywhere I think I don't know if it'll access there but I can put the fuel in the back and the reactor will get it so let's take the spotlight off of here and we'll put it down here because of course I want to have a big nice spotlight to see what I'm mining alright so where was that it was uh, 7 kind of looks like an ion thruster alright there we go haha -ha. and of course I need interior plates I think I have some back here do I not uh, yes, I do. But anyways, I just had to go with uh, two thrusters in each direction. Two on the bottom facing down, two facing up, two facing left, two facing right, forward, backwards. And it's, it's big, it's heavy, and I don't expect it to move fast at all. I need a little bulletproof glass for that. So pretty much, yeah, let me get the spotlight on, the gyros, uh, and then all I gotta really do is get these configured up and we should be good to go. And I hope we don't have a clipping issue. Okay, I'm back. I actually had to go on a bit of a uranium run because uh, apparently we don't have any in the system. I think Tricor's got some ships that are automatically filling the reactors. So I'm just going to dock onto the asteroid here as soon as I can get a foothold. Like uh, so. Alright, and so what I'm going to do, because I actually do have a couple pieces of uranium on me, I'm going to go ahead and... I was able to get about 50, 50 tons or so, I believe, so yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump start this thing. Because it's got a reactor, it's got a refinery, refinery that are going to process this stuff extremely fast. I am going to do this, pop that in there, put that in there, and it should, I think maybe I got a Get the reactor to auto fill. Let's see here. Large reactor. Use conveyor system. Yeah. Do I really have to pull it in there? I'm wondering. Uh, apparently so, and nothing's connected. Okay, I gotta figure something out. Hold on. You know what? We'll just do it this way. Because I can get to the reactor in the front. I just gotta make sure those drills are off when I'm loading this thing up. So if I put this in here. Okay, it made noise, and that's good. So is this refining? Yes, it is. Not at the fastest rate, but it is going. And judging by the looks of it, it is going right into the reactor. Uh, oh yeah, inventory. I'll be able to find out. I have no idea how fast it's gonna use it up, but it's working. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish loading this up. I also got to get an ore detector on here somewhere. That's not going to be too obscure, but we'll figure it out. Uh, hopefully, I could probably even put it right on the front there if it'll fit, or even somewhere in the back. But let me get this figured out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have it on there. Uh, still got to configure the, the rotors. We're going to do that in a second here. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to untether it. Hopefully, we don't have a problem. We're good. 
And I just want to do that so I can put the connector on the back end here. And that way so I can always dock to the station if I need to. For whatever reason, I need more steel plates. Do I have any here? Probably not. Uh, yeah, so again, let me finish that up. I'll get the rotors going and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I think I'm ready. There's the rotors. I was, my ship was actually rotating as I had one of them going. I think, I don't know if you saw that or not. And there's the drills. So now the question is, how well is this going to work? One way to find out, we're going to go back to the uranium mine. Wow, that's a uh, quite powerful ship here. Let's see if I can zoom out and find out what I'm doing here. It moves, it's slow, but it moves, and that's not what I meant to do, and neither was that. <laughs> Anyways, I will uh, I'll work my big old boat over there, and I'll bring you back when it's time to eat up some asteroid. I love how these things just growl. Anyway, I will be right back. So, I'm just barreling along here, and I uh, started thinking, well, first, if you were a small ship and you saw this thing coming, like, literally, look at the front end of that thing, what would you be thinking? And then I looked at my mass, and I started thinking, well, geez, I'm 385 tons now. If I manage to fill this thing full, that container's going to be able to carry a, a fair amount of weight, not to mention everything else that's in the system. But anyways, we'll be there in a minute, so I'll bring you back, because it's going to take me about 10 minutes to slow this thing down. And here we are. This actually wasn't too bad, trying to slow this thing down. Now you can see the marker just up here. Uh, it's got get, getting dark, but that's okay. That's why I put this big old spotlight on here. No, that's exactly where the deposit is, so I'm going to try to get in there. Oh, here comes the sun again. Again, I don't want to go barreling into the rock with this thing, because, yeah, things break in this game. Thank God for the dampeners. So we'll swing around. Don't want to go too fast. And I'm actually uh, refining a fair amount of uranium. I think I'm close up to like 500 kilos already, which is good. And you can see the tiny little mark I've made with the old miner. This is the new miner. I don't know if I want to try to actually drill, drill right through it. Uh, what kind of worries me is that there might be a bit of a dead zone in the middle, but we shall find out. Let's get that camera view back a little bit. And then let's go in. Fire up the rotors. Fire up the drills. And slow down before it crash into it. All right, let's get a better view here. Oh, that's <laughs> massive. Okay, let's get in. I'm also sitting a lot higher too, so I'm only seeing half the drills right now. All right, this is either gonna be really cool, or it's gonna kill me. One of the two. Well, let's find out. I don't like how the mouse always changes, resets and come back in first person, third person. Whatever. Doesn't want to move. Not quite there. There we go. You can see the smoke. No fuel. Well, that worked. Mm. That was fun. So what, my reactor actually broke? Oh, that was no fun. Oh well. Live and learn, huh? 
Yeah, it broke. It broke. Guess having him turning was a bad idea. <laughs> that was an expensive failure. <sighs> oh, jeez. Well, not much else I can do. I don't think I can actually fix it. Let's find out. Well, I'm a few resources off. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Definitely fun. I wonder if I even got a uranium out of that before it decided to break on me. I think that was the stuff I was already refining. And everything else is broken. Oh, wow. The drill's filled up. Oh, no. That's tiny. <sighs> that, was, that was a fun idea. Unfortunately, having the drills rotate was bad because it broke. And like I said, things break. Anyway, uh, that's not much else I can do about this. There's so much material here. I can't just scrap it and take it back to the back to the base. Uh, maybe Tricord can come out and give me a hand. I don't know. Okay, instead of ending the episode like I originally had done, I decided I was going to pull an all-nighter and get the thing all fixed up again. Uh, Tricorder was able to give me a tow back. Needless to say, I was not able to get my reactor fixed until I got back here, but I didn't have enough s silver to make the reactor components, so I had to go back down to, down to the planet, get s some silver, come back up here. And I was building and building and building and refixing and getting all redone. I decided, well, let's get rid of the rotors. So I put a whole bunch of <laughs> drills on here. Tricorder's got something like that down there, but he's only got a 5x5, five five, so I went all the out and went by 7x7. Seven seven. Right. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is that this thruster is, isn't is too close. It is three blocks away, so I'm hoping it doesn't affect those. Uh, I do have a spotlight in there. It's kind of pointless now. But I think it's time to take this back over the uranium field and see how it goes. I do not know how well it's going to fly. I do have things hotkeyed, so that's going to make things a little easier. Fire up the reactors, turn on the engines, and undock. And what is going on? Oh, these, these connectors are been a bit of a pain lately. Hang on a second, I seem to be stuck. Okay, a server restart did the trick. Uh, everyone's been on like all day today, so it's been uh, kind of building up. Uh, I did put some extra thrusters on here just to be safe, but uh, needless to say, it was the server. I just could not get budged from that one spot. But anyways, I'm going to put the pedal to the metal, and I'll bring you back when we're back to my old nemesis, the uranium asteroid. And here we are again. So, let's turn those on. And let's go in. We're going to go slow. And we're going to make sure we're not going to break it this time. Unfortunately, I don't have any lights this time. So, I'm going to have to sort of just judge it. And let's just pray to God I don't break it this time. So hard moving the camera like this because uh, the mouse controls the gyroscopes. Alright, All right, we should be good. see what happens here. I'm sure someone out there is hoping for a catastrophe. That's fine. I've already had one already. It's not like another one's going to hurt my reputation. Alright, I'm going to go right here. This should be good. Turn a little bit more so we can get the drills straight. And let's see what happens. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, we get those ref 
refineries on so we can process the stone. Look at that. It's working. It didn't quite work as well as I wanted the first time. But yes, we are drilling through an asteroid. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get, but look at the weight of my ship just go up. I have no idea what we're actually, I'm actually getting right now, if it's stone or uranium. I can find out by going here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, a lot of stone. A lot of stone and anything making it into the refineries. I have no idea. Too many drills. Yeah, no, no uranium there. So let's back her up. And let's see where it was. It was this way. That's the whole reason why I brought this thing out here. And look, we're getting sun just in time. A little longer episode, but hey, it's a big machine. Could use a little bit more light, Mr. Sun. And be very careful because I don't want to have to fix this thing again. I'm taking it home in one piece today. That's so cool. Like it. Just boring right through an asteroid. I almost wonder if I could be able to make it too, just going straight. Had to go really slow though. But it's working. And here I was bugging Tricorder about leaving square holes in my front yard and over on Earth. This is definitely working, and I think we're getting a ton of uranium. Let's see how far I can go. I'm not letting go of the mount, uh, of alt, because I don't want anything to get broken. We must be getting a lot of uranium because that number's not going up too high. Hmm, that's cool. There's a big square hole. All right. I started nudging, so I gotta back out here. All right, let's see what I got. Let's see if we got any good stuff out there. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the uranium. So that is rolling. All right. A big of a <laughs> big square hole in the ground. We're in the asteroid. Well, I think this is a good time spot to leave it. I'm gonna try to get a, f a little bit more here to take back to the base, to the station. But uh, definitely a better ending to the episode than I, the first ending. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And I will see you in the next one. Later.